Righto, we're uh, on our way from Charters Towers to Andara uh, Lava Tubes uh, and uh, we had a meeting that we had to attend uh, via Zoom, so we attended that out in the middle of nowhere. We're probably about halfway. Uh, we set Starlink up, put the Starlink uh, dish up on top of the roof of the car, um, and it was really good. Were you having any issues? No, yeah, everything worked perfectly. Everyone could hear us. Um, it's amazing what technology can do these days. Uh, see you at Andara. I just hit a kangaroo den and I was doing about 95 kilometres an hour. Um, and all I can say, we stopped. Oh, well, first off, the kangaroo, it did roll out and it did hop away. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, uh, hope, hopefully the kangaroo's okay. But um, we did stop, we checked the car out. And one of the things we done before we left was got a bull bar. And uh, we got a bull bar and um, lucky we did because it would have been a headlight smashed, it would have been something gone. Um, so the car is okay, the caravan's okay. I'm a bit shaky, but I'm all good. Um, yeah, first kangaroo I've hit. So, but it goes to show, stay safe on the road, keep vigilant, keep on the lookout. Um, yeah, just drive safe. So we had a rough day today, hitting kangaroos, nearly hitting deers, nearly hitting emus. So we're uh, decided that we're going out for dinner. And it's a special night, because what night is it? Happy anniversary. Mwah. So this morning we're off to the tour of the lava tubes. So you got to catch a bus from the caravan park, apparently, and down there. Um, hopefully we can get some good shots and show you what the lava tubes are. So, it's actually built to service the, uh, so you end up catching the bus from the reception area at the Discovery Parks. And on the way down, the bus trip only takes probably maybe 10 minutes at the max. Um, the tour guide, uh, he runs you through a bit of the history. There's um, the old telly track there, the old tele telegraph poles. Um, then when you finally get there, you end up uh, getting out and you walk down to the lava tube and there's this big archway. Um, and it's just amazing. The photos don't do it any justice. Um, but it is a little bit cooler down there as well and the view is just amazing to be down there. And then you walk down a little bit further and you get to the archway, and the archway is the beginning of one of the lava tubes, um, and you feel the temperature drop straight away uh, when you get down there. It is really, really dark. Uh, you keep on walking down, and there's a bit of water there, and when the light shines on the water, uh, it's just really good to see against the rock wall. Uh, and then he gives you a bit, bit more of a tour down there. He does a bit more of a talk. Uh, and then you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, and then on the way out. But it was really good and highly recommend it as well. All right, we, so we just finished the lava tube tour and it went for about two hours. Yep. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, tour guide was amazing. Uh, real knowledgeable about the area and what do you think of them? Um, yeah it was awesome. It's actually quite cool when you're underground. So, yeah. yeah it's a little bit cool. Although that one cave was real muggy. Real hot and muggy wasn't it? The one with the water still in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it still had water in it so it was yeah, real hot and muggy. Uh, a few bats flying around so that was good. I'd like to do the nighttime one because it's got bats and snakes and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, highly recommend doing the lava tube tour. Yeah. All right, Loretta, it's been a while. <laughs> Has been a while. Has been a while. Yeah. So what are we doing? Um, we're doing the crater rim of this volcano. Yeah. 
So the Kalkani Crater Rim Walk. So we're going to walk up. We're starting here. And we're going to walk up, walk around the rim. Or walk around this way. Get a few photos, be cool. And then walk back down. So it's about an hour and a half return. Two and a half kilometre circuit. Alright. And we're doing it at the best part of the day. Yeah. 11 well, o'clock. Highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Not. This is before. <laughs> Wait till you see me after. See me after. Here we go. And it's uphill from the word go. Yeah. So, pretty sure the GoPro doesn't do it justice. But this hill is really huge and seems to go forever. It says it's only 600 meters, but it's 600 meters straight up. Well, it's been a while, puffing a little bit, but pretty cool. We're up the uh, semi top of the crater, and as you walk up, there's the crater just in front of you. But I think once we get up a little bit higher, so on the other side of the crater, you get a nice good view of it. Loretta's loving it. Here she comes. How'd you go, Redder? Made it. You made it? Long way up. We do like our hiking. Uh, but we haven't hiked in a while. So, surely it takes its toll. But here we go, we're going to turn right up the top here and start to head up the top of the crater. Whew! Alright, up the top of... What's the name of it? Kalani? Nah. Nah. All right, we're up the top of the crater, and um, while we're up here, it's pretty cool. Down there behind us is the crater. You're walking around the rim of it. Uh, you've got 360 degree views. Um, it's pretty cool, but if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Um, just helps us get more content out to you guys. All right, this is the center of the crater. So we're in the centre. It's funny how nothing grows here. But all the trees are growing all the way around. Yeah, pretty cool. Alright Loretta, two and a half k's, how do you feel? I survived. Survived, lots of up and downs. Yeah. Around the rim of the crater. Um, but it was actually pretty cool, a bit of wildlife up there and um, even the centre. The centre was really barren so but that was pretty cool to go down to the centre of it. Anyway, time for lunch. Pretty good place. Um, do you know how much it was? The camp? It's $10 per person for adults and $30 for a family. Wow, $10 per person uh, or 30 bucks for a family. That's pretty cheap. And there's no water, no power, but you're allowed fires. Um, you can swim, person in a canoe there. So that was pretty cool. Generators are allowed. Yeah, definitely worth a stop. It is a dirt road, about a 30 kilometre dirt road to come, come in here. It is corrugated, uh, but they're not too bad, so it is a pretty good spot. So they have a bush breakfast here every morning and this is the bush breakfast you walk about 300 meters into the bush and they do a big cook up tables chairs all around the place so pretty nice little setup and then this is where you start your hikes from so i'm doing the pioneer rosella plains hike and it's the orange markers it is i think it's 12 and a half kilometers so, well, that's always good to see. Rough terrain with steep sections. Eight and a half kilometers to go. All uphill, nice.
All right, the view is pretty spectacular from up here, but when you're hiking, you've just got to remember what track you're on. And if you can see that orange triangle, so that's the track I'm on, they're the markers I've got to follow. And it's going, it's saying go straight ahead. So if you look straight ahead, it doesn't look that much of a walking track, but up in the distance, you can see another marker. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. The other mark is just up there. So that's the one I've got to go to. So you just got to follow your markers and you can see how easy it is to get lost out in the bush. But if you've got these markers to follow um, and just stay on the track. So, and that's the probably the biggest advice any tour guide, any hiker will give you is uh, follow those markers and stay on the track. So this is it, Aiken's Lookout, the grand finale. So I think I'm at about 12 k's at the moment. It's been pretty full on in the sun, um, but pretty nice spot up here. So here's the lookout behind me, everyone's throwing sticks and rocks up against the sign. Um, and then when I got up here, there is an emu just down the bottom of the hill. So it's pretty cool, come up here, have a look at the view that you've got, the view, it's just spectacular and the emu is just down there somewhere but yeah pretty cool spot so it's goodbye to Adara and bring on Julia Creek can't wait to get to Julia Creek relax in the bath we had a great time at Andara uh, the lava tubes were amazing the crater walk was really good um, I'd recommend it to anyone but bring on Julia Creek Ah, uh, well, all right, rookie error by me. Um, last night we were at Richmond Free Camp and it was really good. Free camp, amazing there. Well, I think it's $5 for three nights and you've got to pay at the um, the museum um, information centre here. And But anyway, I left the caravan all hooked up, um, just left it all hooked up and I think the battery's on its way out, just not too sure. Um, but we started it this morning, took the caravan off the ramps and then I jumped in it to move it forward again and it just wouldn't start. So um, I think the battery might have died, but I've got the car running and we've got to get to Julia Creek. So um, I'm hoping I can get a battery at Julia Creek but or just an auto electrician, maybe even test my battery. Um, but yeah, rookie error. So I think from now on, um, if we have a free camp overnight, I'm just gonna unplug the, the caravan from the car just so it's not draining any sort of battery at all. So, but yeah, interesting times this morning. It's nine o'clock, so it's still on time, but um, I'm just getting a coffee and we're gonna head off. Julia Creek at the RSL which they have a tribute to the light horsemen um, of the area um, in World War II my grandfather was actually a light horseman so it's a pretty special place here Positioning, positioning, positioning. 
So here we are with the view like this. Bath salts in, relaxing. Good way to finish the weekend off. It was Bathurst weekend. The race finished. What do you think, Reda? It's amazing. Good time to relax.